Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part seven of the same topic. In that we'll see the innings fourteen point four. So here they said if the total surface of a cube is three seven five zero centimeter square, find its volume. So total surface area of cube. The formula is six a square. So that is given as three seven five zero. So we'll write it three seven five zero. And this will be as it is. So when we bring this here on the other side, so this is going to get divided. This will be as it is on that side. So that is a square. So now when you divide this one, so this will be six hundred and twenty-five. So six hundred and twenty-five is a square. So when you take the square root, so that is going to be this is twenty-five into twenty-five. That is going to be means a is twenty-five. So now we want the volume, volume of a cube. So volume of a cube, the formula is a cube. Now we got a, so now we can say that a cube is twenty five into twenty five into twenty five. That will be one five six two five centimeter cube. So this is the answer. The area of a floor of a room is eighty five point five meter square. Its volume is nine eighty three point eighty five meter. So this should be actually meter cube. So find the height of the room. So area of floor is eighty five point five. So this is volume is length into breadth into height. So here will be uh, the volume is given as nine eighty three point eighty five meter cube. So this will be nine eighty three point eighty five. So we can take here uh, this L into B means that is nothing but the area. Now why did we take this one? So because we know the area of the floor. So so we, for this one we can write the area, and this is the height. So this will be the same for this area. We can write to eighty-five point five, and this is the height. So when you take this on the left hand side, so this is going to get divided. So that will be height. So now see here, since we are not using the calcium, I'll show you how to do this one. So this you can write this whole number first. This is here. You'll go backwards. So there are two numbers. So you are going to put here two zeros. Now for this one, you will write this whole thing first. That will be eight fifty-five. And after you, after this, when you go backwards, that is one number. So we are going to put here ten. So now what happens here? This is the numerator. This is the denominator. Numerator will be this one. This will get flip over. So ten by eight fifty five. So that is the height. So zero and zero get cancelled. So this will be nine eight three eight five divided by this one eight five five zero multiplied this way. So when you Divide this one, you get eleven point five meter. That which is the height, and that is what they have asked. Find the height of the room. So we can write here one sentence here. The height of the room is eleven point five meter. Now here the diameter of the base of a right circular cylinder is forty two centimeter, and its height is twelve centimeter. This is a right circular cylinder. Find its volume. So what is the diameter given? Diameter is forty-two centimeters. So the radius will be the half of the diameter. So we can say diameter divided by two. So that will be twenty-one centimeter, and the height is given as twelve centimeter. So volume of cylinder, what is that? Formula is pi r square h. So the value of this one we can take twenty-two by seven, or we can take three point fourteen. So now this becomes easier to calculate. So we can take twenty-two by seven. So now this will be uh, this is given as radius is twenty one so twenty one into twenty one and into height is twelve so now we will write here seven ones are seven threes are so when you multiply this all so that will be one sixty six thirty two centimeter cube how many cuboidal mat boxes of dimensions eight centimeter into six centimeter into two centimeter can be placed in a cubical packing. With h twenty four centimeter, so the volume of cuboid that is length into breadth into height. So this will be eight into six into two. So that is going to be ninety six centimeter cube. So now here we have we we'll take the this is give one this will how many cuboid and this will be can be placed in a cubical packing with h this one. So volume of cube is This is side cube. So we have the h is given of this cube. This is twenty four. So twenty four cube means when we take twenty four into twenty four into twenty four, you can multiply and see that will be one three eight two four 
because this is a volume that will be sending in the queue. So we want how many keyboard and match boxes. So number of match boxes that can fit in the 20 place in a cubicle packing that will be this volume of cube my, uh, divided by this one volume of cuboid. So that will be 13824 divided by 96. So when we divide this, that is going to be 144 match boxes. There is a big ice cream brick with dimensions 24 centimeter into 15 centimeter into 8 centimeter to be distributed among family members. If each family mem member gets 240 centimeter cube of ice cream to eat, find the number of family members. So volume of the ice cream brick that is 24 into 15 into 8. So that is going to be 2880 centimeter cube. And number of family members will be what if each member gets 240 centimeter cube of this ice cream to eat. So now what you are going to do, you are going to divide this one 2880 divided by 24. So number of family members, whatever it is there. So when you divide this number, so you get this is 12. So number of family members is 12. So by this one, we are completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.